Baldy get himself into this time as Mongols got called out? It's definitely not some dumb bullshit. Let's find out. Let's see what Baldy did. Tag me to this topic. Much appreciated. We got Packer Girl oh, saying no. Jamie responded to Asmongold. Oh, here Just we go. Just as a reminder, yep. Jamie Markey received lots of criticism for her script writing for anime dubs, usually under Funimation, okay. and in particular, the infamous Dragon Maid patriarchy line. Oh, okay. Is he going to provide context? Uh, let me provide context because that shit was some of the dumbest shit that I've ever seen. Patriarchy. Dragon Maid. Yeah, it's, let's go ahead and play the clip. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. Coming. Hey. Oh, hi. What are you doing here, Lukawa? To see you and bring these. Uh, want some snacks? Duh, thank you. <laughs> uh, what are you wearing that for? Oh, those pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves. So I changed clothes. Give it a week, they'll be begging you to change back. So... Jesus Christ. Yeah, that doesn't break the immersion 10,000 times in three seconds. Uh, so what she actually said was, everybody was looking at my massive tits, so I put them away. I, I, I don't know what the f this patriarchal societal demands SJW bullshit was, but here's a crazy idea. Why don't we just keep the author's intentions true to the show and let the characters say what they're supposed to f say was that an abridged to be honest with the level of professionalism as it goes for translators it might as well have been abridged she got a question about the criticism at an anime convention panel which she then went on some insane rant over essentially my god can you imagine that sjw female who actively changes the writing of anime characters to fit her agenda on gender roles is insane? My God! <laughs> Who would have thunk it? What's next? She's overweight, has dyed hair, and makes BuzzFeed articles? Actually saying anyone who criticized her is a misogynistic Nazi. No, she's just retarded. She also claimed to be very, very funny. Or, <laughs> or something like that. I bet as funny as Amy Schumer. Punch of bizarre behavior, really. And on top of that, she was also one of the most vocal Kick Vic members going back to a topic that I covered extensively in 2019, as well as a defendant in the associated lawsuit. Anyways, it's been weird for me to have her name brought up again recently. Like, I was uh, very happy to leave her in the past. As you can see, she's kind of unhinged. So yeah, uh, but alas, she has been in the news again, so here we are. Here we go. Now anyways, Asmon talked quite a bit about <clears throat> her lines and her terrible- It's not Asmon. Okay, it's Asmond. Okay, it's Asmond Gold. There's a D. There's a D that you forgot. Asmond Gold. A response to criticism, and it seems she really didn't like that. And he Actually, his his correct pronunciation of his name, and I don't really, I don't really respect Hirohei's pronunciation of this. It's Asmond Papa. Also, Asmond Senpai. Okay, either of those is perfectly acceptable on the English dub. Okay, <laughs> so you gotta learn, learn, learn your localizations here, hero. Hey, you're kind of pissing me off. Okay, your patriarchal demands are really making me uncomfortable right now. Anyways, looks like she went on TikTok and made a one minute video responding to Asmon, where she doesn't really respond to him at all. It's also, can we just, and I'm just gonna do a hot take here, guys. Can we just stop calling him Asmongold? Can we just stop? He's, he's, he's literally Zach Rar. Guys, Asmongold died last year. Bro, bro doesn't exist. Okay? We just call him Baldy. Or Zach. Okay? Asmond's dead. And I killed him. Instead, she completely deflects the reasonable criticism that she received and tries bringing up some situation with Asmon and some alleged charity controversy thing with some organization named Soft Giving. I don't really know anything about that. Just giving you the context. Okay. Charity allegations. Okay. I want to make that very clear. From what I've heard. I am not involved. Okay. You can't hold people's allegations against them. Because they're just words. Until they're being proven. They don't really matter. Case in point. Chat, you're all pedophiles. Now respond to the pedophile allegations, chat. Sorry, 
and make sure to put that. <laughs> hey, sorry guys, <laughs> sorry guys. I mean, that's 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 the way that people think allegations work. I say some random shit. Now defend yourself. Now. Who knows what's actually going on, but to be honest, nobody needs to respond to allegations, but that's just my opinion. That's just a white man's opinion. Twitter isn't going to like that. Anyways, she quotes Asmon and says, Somebody makes an allegation against me, and now somehow I have to respond to it? No, I don't have to say anything. Who gives a frick? And that's the quote. So she's quoting Asmon where he apparently said that on stream. Yep. The thing is, no one's accusing her. They're simply criticizing her scripts. What that chick has isn't allegations you brainless dumb bitch the proof it's proof it's proof it's your work is out there it's no longer allegations it has been proven that your that your agenda of localizing anime you have no reason to do it's 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 public knowledge you can pull that shit up on pbs at this point she's so defensive no the the, the word you're looking for is stupid and that terrible response on a convention panel that i mentioned in other words it's just more extremely bizarre behavior from marky yep and i gotta say once a don't flatter her by calling her bizarre okay people like her they get off on being called weird no she's just an idiot okay let's just leave it at that don't don't, don't say strange don't say weird don't say odd don't say bizarre just say you are a f idiot it's very easy again and as someone who talked about her antics going on five years ago, I'm kind of concerned for this woman. Not to excuse any of the terrible things. I am not concerned for this woman at all because I don't give a fuck about her. My dad uh, told me to, to, to really work on my repertoire on when I'm insulting people. So he wanted me to, next time I had the opportunity to publicly go in on somebody, he wanted me to use something from his repertoire, which was, Hey, buddy, the village is missing their local idiot. Why don't you go fill in, buddy? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Things that she's done, yep. don't get me wrong. Heck, she had even insulted my appearance in the past for wearing glasses. Full context. PUSSY! To that real quick. Years ago, I was having some eye trouble from being on the computer so much. Okay. And I wore blue light glasses on occasion and okay. had some videos where I used a cam. Yep. She didn't like one of those videos, I guess, and decided to insult my appearance and the glasses that I was wearing at the time specifically. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyways, despite all that, she... <laughs> just shooting that in there. Just, just for fun. Hey, that's okay, hero. Hey, speak your shit, King. Seemingly only gotten more unhinged over the years. And I do find that rather concerning. Again, not an excuse for her. It's just kind of sad to see someone going even further off the deep end. Like, look at this as well, from Enigma. Says, I know you guys seen the recent insanity from Marky, but the numbers are unreal. Asmon really kicked the hornet's nest on this one. Wish I had the time slash energy to make 2200 tweets in six days. What? So this is Jamie Marky's Twitter account analytics for the period between December 22nd and January 2206 days? For a while there, she was tweeting like maybe once or twice a day, give or take, right? And then once this localization topic got brought up again, and people start talking about her patriarchy line, twenty two hundred. She has just been going off on people on Twitter, making hundreds of tweets a day, where she's just like spending all day on Twitter, arguing with people. So you're telling me that this chick is chronically online? Man, what a shocker! Honestly, boys, my jaw's on the floor. I can't believe this shit. She seems so cool, man. Damn. She's putting in all this effort. To not just double down. No, nah, I made a new term up for her. This is a uh, dozening down because <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it. She surpassed like tripling down and quadrupling down. She surpassed so many things. I'm going right to dozen. She's dozened down. She's dozening down. <laughs> Excuse me, one sec. Okay, had to cut. Yeah, she has dozen down syndrome. Because you know what this bitch is? I, I won't say it. Y'all got it. The uh, audio for a second to stop laughing. I've collected myself. I'm a professional here. But no, nah, seriously. It's just crazy that instead of her admitting that she handled that situation poorly, which I think it's fair to say objectively she did. Like, it's, it's not even really opinion. The, the stuff that she was saying there in response to criticism, oh, you're misogynistic, not she's, I'm really, really funny, and I have a... Starts going off about her anatomy in front of a bunch of convention. <laughs> I, I'm a level 48 Padawan knight. You can't talk to me this way. <laughs> you, uh, dude, Thrall won't ever let you speak to me that way. I, I, was, I, was, I was a scout in Warsaw Gulch and Vanilla. Stop it. Very unprofessional. 
very terrible way of handling things. You could use any number of words there that would probably fit appropriately. Ironic, because she handled that very not appropriately, but anyways. True. Instead of acknowledging that, right, and showing that she's grown a little bit over all these years. Now, why would you want to do that? Bit wiser or something. Yep. Nah, it's the complete opposite. Absolutely She's no. dozening down. Yep. She's uh, <laughs> acting as unhinged as ever, if not even more so in some ways. Like, this is, this is pretty exceptional behavior here. And she'd rather just go off all day arguing with people on Twitter, making these weird TikToks, yep. as opposed to having even a semblance of self-awareness. Now let's hop over to her TikTok, where she's responding to Asmon, or Asmon's followers, whatever Zach. she said. See some of the comments there. Might Zach. be rather amusing. Here she we go. She did something. <laughs> Allegation? No, it's verified. You push your political oh, views. You can't take criticism. Oh. You think anyone who disagrees with you or calls you out is a racist? You forgot misogynistic Nazi on there too. <laughs> Let's check out the comments. Oh, there we go. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesus me, guys. Those Christ. <laughs> Freaking. Uh, I want to. I want to double down with her, guys. I'm sorry if you disagree with me. Uh, you're racist. So I just want to make that very well aware. Have to add it on. And a Nazi. It. Excuse me, they got and it. And transphobic. Or a Nazi. And homophobic. <laughs> or and pedophile. Just and, and a like murderer. And entitlement. Just and a, chair, just a charity fraud. Like, dang. <laughs> dang. It's because it's become apparent that you're a violent individual. And misogynist. And over the years, you proved you're unable to work professionally, staining Funimation's image. Yo, this person went off, man. It's another one, too. But view five more. Oh, my gosh. Funimation claims to not support any type of harassment or threatening behavior directed at anyone, but indirectly supports this type of behavior. Imagine that. Dare click five more. Imagine oh my that. Gosh. Um, by having no punishment enforced when their employees spread hateful remarks targeted at their loyal consumers and other individuals. Actually you ridiculous. Have edited multiple translations of shows you have written on to fit your political beliefs. Yep. As the customer, we should expect to not be getting an inferior product in terms of. Some people are not. Zing her point. Do you think you're funny, bro? Do you think you're funny with that one? Do you think you're a zinger? Where you're like, hey, watch this. I'm going to sling this one out. Okay, bro. <laughs> what a stupid emote. I stole that joke from... <laughs> hey, good shit, King. Hey, why be funny when you can just steal somebody else's joke? Man, hey, it's really just that easy. Just because we watch a dub. This man speaking facts here. Oh, then he said fact. Look at that. Uh, maybe I'm getting too much amusement. I apologize if I'm laughing too much, but this is pretty dang amusing. I can get where this is going, and uh, I'm going to just leave it at this. I don't need to stretch this anymore, okay? Idiots will be idiots. Here's the reality on localization, okay? Keep the author's intentions true to what the dub is. Don't push narratives and other people's works. Do your job and stop things up because you're sjw and you're saving the world by with anime let localizations be exactly that it's really not that hard and to top this one off i don't even remember this bitch's name but she's a moron and nothing else needs to be said on this matter to be honest anyways let me know what you think thanks for liking commenting subscribing go check out zach Rar on twitch uh, whoever that bitch was, just ignore her, boys. Just close your eyes. She'll go away.